hopefully we finally get rid of some feedback here. Um, apologies for that. Like I was mentioning just a moment ago, this is our very first webinar that we've done uh, for the USA with our brand new Zoom room system. So, uh, so please bear with us. The exciting thing is the content that we've got to talk about today um, is really groundbreaking. So we're very excited to, uh, to be here and uh, hopefully over the course of this next half an hour, we can actually give you some, uh, some information and some more, more details on our recent announcements. Uh, so presumably because you're uh, on this webinar, you've, you've seen our announcements around our Dante integration within the bird dog products. So what we'll be doing today is doing a bit of a walkthrough. To start with, I'll, I'll do a, a very quick explanation of what Dante is and how that interacts with NDI and then what bird dog is and how we've come about. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on that because it's more about the products. So we'll talk then about the products, how they come together, uh, how everything can talk to each other, and then ultimately what kind of workflows uh, this can then give you. And then at the end of the session, uh, what we'll do is open up to some Q&As. Uh, as you might've noticed, there's someone actually moderating some Q&As as we go. That's Eamon, um, my co-founder here at Bird Dog. So as I'm talking, please feel free to ask some questions. He'll be able to answer them as best he can during the webinar, but then also at the end, if there's other ones that we want to revisit, then we'll certainly get to that as well. So let's get started uh, straight into this webinar. So as you have seen on our social media and various other places, we announced three products. That's actually probably not quite fair. We've actually announced a whole bunch of products and a whole bunch of integration with everything that we make. So starting from the left-hand side, we've got this product called Dante for Comms Pro. And I'll explain a bit more about Comms Pro uh, during this webinar. Another really exciting announcement is our NDI Bridge. NDI Bridge is designed to be kind of a Swiss army knife. It allows you to take uh, anything in from Dante, converting it to NDI, and then go the other way around. We can take anything back out again from NDI back to the Dante world. So it really becomes this gateway between these two environments. And this can be really useful in uh, areas like AV installations, live productions. Sometimes when you've got a mixture of uh, a live event that's happening where you have house audio, but then streaming needs to happen out to the internet, Having that mix of being able to have your audio on both sides of that network, on the on the Dante House network, as well as on your uh, on your uh, NDI network switching, can be really flexible. Then the last one, which is really exciting, is our Dante for hardware, and this is the one I was mentioning. There's actually quite a lot of products. The really exciting thing with this, and uh, what I'm really proud of, is that any owner of any Bird Dog product is able to update that uh, with the Dante enablement. And this is one of the first things, times this has happened in the world where in field you can upgrade a product to Dante enablement. And the cool thing is that that's products that may have been two years old. So we're really trying hard to protect your investment. We've become quite, uh, uh, quite well known for our firmware updates allowing more and more features. And this is another great example of that. We're certainly not a company that releases a product and then moves on to the next thing. We want to get as much value as we can for our customers. So the next thing that I'm really excited about, and this is really just because we're an Australian company, and Ordinate, the makers of Dante, are also Australian. So we're really proud to have such a big announcement and have both of those announcements come from Australian companies. So we've been working very closely, and this is a culmination of a lot of effort over the last 18 months or so to bring this together. So uh, both Ordinate and uh, Bird Dog are extremely excited about bringing these announcements together. So I've got one very quick slide here on Dante. And uh, typically, I think uh, people do have heard of Dante, certainly if not used it. And what it is, it's a method of sending audio across a computer network. And the idea with this is there shouldn't be any compromise. It should be the same as if you're using audio from a, a regular analog source in the way of performance. So it's designed for near zero latency and it's designed to work over networks that can be very, very large and it can scale extremely big. The great thing with Dante is it's actually implemented by hundreds of manufacturers and it's in thousands of products. So it's, it's basically available everywhere. And it's a mainstay of AV installations in education exhibition spaces. So having this Dante hook in within an NDI world is actually a really powerful tool because you can take these NDI video endpoints and then take out the audio into your Dante fixed environment that's already there. Or alternatively, the other way around, we can bring in microphones that are already built into buildings with Dante enablement and we can take those and uh, access them for our live streams. So it's a really cool joining of two technologies. And of the NDI technology, NDI has been around now for four years and it was invented by a company called NewTek, which is a part of the VizRT group. And it's really designed and it's come out of uh, the idea that IP video shouldn't be replacing one expensive cable with another. 
what NDI does is it takes the benefits of a regular computer network. So what you've already got in your office space, potentially what you've already got in a, in a home router, in the fact that it's gigabit ethernet, it doesn't have to have these high bandwidth network connections. Uh, and within that gigabit environment, you can have extremely low latency, but high quality broadcastable video. Uh, and it sits within that bandwidth. And there's actually very few formats that allow you to do that with audio and video together. So NDI really was a breakthrough product in IP video for broadcast and live productions, having that low latency. So it's very fast on your network, but the quality that you need to be able to do a live production. Adding to that, we have a bunch of metadata controls and BirdDog make a bunch of products and I'll explain a few of those through this presentation. But the, uh, the metadata allows you to do all sorts of things, interact and NDI handles this natively. Things like our PTZ camera, you can control them. You can get uh, you know, various feedback from your cameras. We have tally lights that go on. So all of our devices, if you, uh, if you are going live to air, the tally light will light up. And then on top of that, we add our own additional metadata, things like audio comms. So we're pretty excited about how NDI works. And, and BirdDog was really born out of NDI as soon as this format was released. At the time, four years ago, it was a software-based uh, platform that allowed you to send video from one computer to another. And we thought four years ago, wouldn't it be great if we could get that much closer to the camera, much closer to the glass? And that's what we've done. We've made a product that can attach to your camera. It's a camera mountable uh, converter, but it also then can go behind a TV screen because it does decoding as well. So I guess uh, probably to describe what we do is we're, we're obsessed with workflows and that's really where this Dante partnership has come from. We're not a company that makes a throw down box that will take HDMI and convert it to another format. We're not a company that makes a, a widget that goes from one thing to another. What we do is we make products that will convert and enhance along the way. So we're building workflows and that's evidenced by a bunch of the products that we have. It started with this guy here. This is our bird dog studio. This was released, as I mentioned, we announced it as soon as uh, NDI was announced and we've been shipping now for several years. And BirdDog Studio, it's a converter, sure, but it's actually more like a virtual camera back. And that means that it's got video in, it's got video out, it has cross conversion, does audio comms, it's got tally, it's got power built in for power over ethernet. On top of that, it also converts NDI. So it does a huge amount of things in a very small box. And it's designed to replace a bunch of different things where we're trying to limit the amount of cables you have uh, connected to any input. So that was announced a few years ago. And then a couple of years after that, or about 18 months afterwards, we actually announced the world's first NDI decode as well. And for us, this was a really big deal. With NDI or with any production, uh, the contribution is only part of it. The distribution is a very big part as well. So once you have that video, you need to send it to various different places. So with our bird dog products, we can then take any of that video and we can decode that and put it onto any screen of any size. So we have our various products, our studio, our mini, and more recently our 4K products that allow you to take NDI and put them out onto any screen and consume it in many different ways. So in a lot of ways, that was kind of our first workflow. We can take video in and then put it out anywhere with video as well. So it became a full distribution platform. To enhance that, we then released a few products. Uh, one of them I alluded to earlier, which is our BirdDog comms system. So BirdDog comms further enhances what we do with, with our uh, endpoints and our video encoders and decoders, is it then allows you to plug in a headset and you can communicate with your crew. So this is more in a live production environment where you can see every single camera and you can touch on any of those cameras and talk to individual operators. You can also see your full program output and you can talk to the whole crew. So it was the world's first visual comm system that we released a couple of years back. And that's been actually really popular and it really enhances what the products that we offer do. Adding to that, we then also released BirdDog Central. And BirdDog Central is our routing platform. Once again, with a real visual cue, the idea with all of our products is that uh, because we have audio and video joined together and it's all on a network, we should be showing all of this together. And that's where all of our products interact very clearly you see video from every single source you can see the tally lights if something's being used it's all very clear and friendly and, and easy to understand and that's really owing to the fact that we've got all of this information within our products and and we can build these workflows the final piece on a production side of things and i'll get to the av space in a moment was when we released in september last year bird dog cloud so the the, the beauty of having ip-based video within your facility is that you can take 
any source that you have and you can receive it anywhere else. You can move it around your regular network. You don't have to have a secondary infrastructure with SDI switches or routers or with uh, uh, HDMI uh, routing points. It's all done on your network that you already have. And so we thought that's fantastic, but wouldn't it be great if you could teleport any resource from one location to another? And that's what Bird Dog Cloud does. We can take any NDI source or any of our video sources, could be from another company's products, and we can take that and send it over the public internet using secure technology from SRT and receive that anywhere else in the world. And that can extend to multiple cameras for remote productions. So what we've now built is a workflow from encoding to decoding to communicating to switching and directing, and then they can scale out to anywhere in the world. So that's kind of the, um, the, the view of where we came from as a company. And unashamedly, that's from a production environment. And production is a really great place to start because the demands are really high. The quality needs to be there, the reliability needs to be there, but also the latency and performance needs to be there as well. And earlier this year, we expanded our portfolio of products to include these two here. And this is our SDM module. So SDM is a partnership with Intel, and we've developed this uh, with NEC as well. It's a module that goes inside a display, which turns that display into a native NDI, a native, native bird dog product that allows you to send and receive video the same way as you would with the encoder box on the back, but for much more integrated solutions. So that SDM module is available this year and we're really excited about the workflows and the, um, and the possibilities that brings. And that other product on the right hand side is our wall plate. And this is more designed for fixed installations in AV spaces, lecture theatres, meeting rooms, where we can have this neatly plugged into the wall, it's a fixed install, and it allows you to encode or decode from whatever source you plug into that. So this here is a really quick walkthrough of our products to then overlay how we then can work with that within Dante. Keeping in mind the Dante implementation is all about audio and all about interacting with the highest quality and lowest latency. And so for us, it really makes sense to work alongside our current products to work alongside NDI and bring the, the whole of those two worlds together. Especially when you look at the AV installations and anything to do with a combination of in-house and streaming. So most environments will have some form of uh, Dante or are looking at some kind of Dante installation for microphones, for speakers, for audio mixing, uh, to be able to wrap audio around the building. And then you put in our products at each endpoint and that, uh, that allows you to wrap video around the place. So having the, the confluence of those two in one place reduces the amount of hardware double ups and actually simplifies a bunch of workflows. You can take the audio from a, a microphone that's dropped from the ceiling and attach it to a PTZ camera NDI feed, for example. And some really great workflows that get, un, get enabled. So what I'd uh, like to do now is actually start to talk about the actual products. Sorry, I'm getting some notes here. That's good. <laughs> I've just got some notes that I'm on my laptop camera, so hi everyone. Um, so what I'd like to talk about to now is about our, uh, our products. So um, the, the announcements that I spoke about before is the comms bridge and then the Dante hardware. So one that I'm really excited about and was kind of the first thing that came up when we started to work with Ordinate and to get Dante involved in, in our product lineup is this one here. It's called Dante NDI Bridge. Now Dante NDI Bridge is an application that runs on a Windows machine and you can see there it's got a bunch of different audio channels and it's a, it's, yeah, it's a nice looking piece of software. But this can do a huge amount within this, uh, this simple interface. It allows you to take any Dante source and in this version it's scalable but in this version it's up to six channels of audio. And we can choose whether they're multiple stereo pairs or whether they're interpreted as a, a single source. So what we can do in the top half of this screen for example uh, where we're going from Dante to NDI is we can choose any source uh, on your network that's Dante enabled. So if we've got a bunch of microphones or a mix and minus or whatever we choose, and we can map those to a single NDI output that we can access anywhere. We can access that from our vision switcher or you know, we can decode it with one of our boxes. Uh, and that can be a single NDI source that's generated. Or we can convert them into multiple pairs of audio. And this can work really well if you wanted to split out different mixes and different audio, or if you wanted to give different feeds around the place. So it's a really flexible way of doing things where you can take multiple sources and then choose how you distribute that around. The configure button that we have there takes you straight to the Dante controller, which allows you to then configure any of your sources, the ins and outs. 
The other great thing within this is you can choose your Dante network. And I'll get to a little bit of the networking uh, environment uh, parts later on, but some people quite like to have Dante on a separate network from their, their regular corporate network. So with this, we can choose what network priority you have within the application. So it's designed to be easily used and you don't have to be an engineer to run this. Uh, the reverse part of this application is NDI back to Dante. And once again, this can be really useful if you've got uh, various NDI sources that could come from anything, could come from Skype, could come from you know, video conferencing systems or whatever you choose. We can convert them back into Dante. And keep in mind, this is all done within our engine that sits behind this application, which is extremely low latency and extremely high quality. So once again, we can take multiple NDI sources and convert them to multiple uh, Dante channels or we can take a single multi-channel NDI source and convert that back out. So again, it's really quite flexible. We also have audio level adjustment and monitoring so you can see exactly what's going on. It's designed to be a really approachable application. It can scale and we will add some more channels down the track, but it can also have multiple instances running. So if you have multiple places within a building, you don't, you're not limited to, to a single instance of this. You can, you can install it and purchase multiple versions of this application to deploy around your building. And it really becomes this gateway between, or a bridge between Dante and, and your NDI world. Moving to the next application, this is really exciting from a production point of view. So Comms Pro, as I mentioned, we've had this out for a little over a year now. Comms Pro is, is the world's first visual communication system for production. What we have with this is the ability to see every single camera in your video production and that's moving pictures, they're not just thumbnails, they're actually moving video. And uh, you'll notice on some of those uh, screens, we've got red borders and green borders. These are showing you that those cameras are being used live. So as a producer, director, or someone that's running a TV show, what you can see here is up the top, we see our uh, live production. That's what's going to air. That's what you're seeing is being used and seen out, out to the world. We can then see every single camera. We can see that this camera here, the one on the top row, is being used for live because it's got the red border. The green border down here indicates that the production uh, staff are looking to cut to this camera next. So as an operator, you can see a bunch of things and it becomes very interactive. And if you touch on any of these screens, you can talk directly to that camera operator. You can also talk to the whole group if you want to. But really the reason to talk about this now is we've expanded to bird.com's to allow you to work with Dante as well. And this enables a bunch of extra different uh, uses for comms beyond what we've seen with the NDI implementation we have here. And that is to take, for example, mix minuses back. So if you wanted to send out audio feeds to, uh, to interview staff, IFBs, for example, we can now mix those in and have different groups for different uh, talent staff and various different operations. We can also take the audio back out again and, and listen to the audio comms within a Dante environment. And that's really exciting because it gives you the ability to have, for example, Dante belt packs uh, for audio comms systems to be built in with this visual comms. So you might want to have the cameras with all of their thumbnail views where you can see everything that's going on. But then you might have a bunch of other staff that are actually uh, just walking around and, and more just needing to be communicating with audio. And they can be done through Dante headsets. So that's really exciting. Uh, the Bird.com's Pro is also another software application with the video endpoints that works with any of our hardware encoders and decoders. So Comms Pro is, uh, is going to be available at the same time as the uh, Dante NDI Bridge and we're scheduling that for in June, so it's not far off. We've been doing a lot of work and a lot of beta testing uh, with Ordinate and so we're very excited to have this come out really soon. So that's Comms Pro. And this one here is actually, it's a big announcement, which is adding Dante support into our hardware devices. And I mentioned that uh, you know, it allows you to do various different things. So I'll just walk through a little bit on, on our product range. And then once I go through the product range and how the implementation works on each of those, I'll then talk about some workflows. And then after we've done that, we can then open up to some, some Q and A's and hopefully we can answer some more questions as we go along. So let's start with our PTZ camera range. This product range uh, we've been shipping now since last year, and it actually spreads quite a long way. The P100 camera on the left-hand side is really designed for huddle rooms and small productions. It's really cost-effective. It's got an exceptionally high picture quality. It uses a Sony sensor, and yeah, it's integrated with all of our technology. 
this is being designed from the ground up to be to be NDI implemented. And it's a single cable solution. So you plug one network cable in, it gives you power, control, video, audio, and now Dante as well. So we see this being able to be used in a bunch of different environments, including corporate meeting rooms, for example, where you have remote control of the, the camera, but then you can take that audio and, uh, and mix that in with a Dante microphone, for example. As we move up the range, some of our products move more into production spaces like the P200s, uh, which is our 30 times optical zoom. Then we've got outdoor uh, cameras as well. Outdoor cameras is an interesting one. Why would you want to have Dante audio built into an outdoor camera? Think of a stadium, for example, where you might want to have a crowd and you might want to have audio that's uh, involved with that. Having a Dante enabled microphone or an array of Dante microphones available on your network, you can then mix that in and receive the audio from those Dante networked microphones over your NDI stream for a live production. And then moving up from there, we've got our 4K range of cameras, which is the P400, which is uh, the world's first full NDI uh, 4K camera. It actually has got a huge amount of color control and it's designed for really high demand environments as far as the image quality with, uh, with unprecedented and, and uncomparable uh, control over all of the color and, and image properties of that. And then right up to our full broadcast sensor, the Sony one inch sensor in the P4K camera. So across the board, you can enable Air Dante in any of these products. And I'll talk a little bit more afterwards when we go into the workflows that this unlocks as to how cameras having Dante audio can be really useful. Moving from there, we've got our converter range. I mentioned uh, at, fair, at fairly decent length about the studio product, which is our first product. But you can see here, we've got quite a range. Starting from our Bird Dog Mini, which is our low cost HDMI encoder decoder device, right through to our 4K quad. All of these devices can be enabled with Dante and that can be for receiving and sending Dante as well. So for example, if you're using this as a network encoder, you can take an HDMI source and take the audio split out through Dante to receive with your house audio mix and take the video to receive that through your TriCaster or whatever NDI switcher you might choose. And right from that single box, you can then split out directly into both environments. And that's true for all of our products, right up to the 4K quad. And this one is our flagship product, the one on the right hand side there. This has got four 12G SDI connectors. So this, this little box, it's about the size of an iPhone uh, from a footprint point of view, can take four 4K 60s and encode them into NDI or decode them in real time. And that also now has Dante available as well. So for us, this really starts to look attractive as a stage box, for example, if you have a large presentation, whether it's a corporate presentation or whether it's a production, uh, you can take SDI feeds from multiple cameras, including embedded audio. And within this box, you can then split out the audio back to your house mix for, for the live production. And then also take the audio and video via, via NDI to your live stream and live production. Keep in mind all of, these all of these devices are encoders and decoders. They can be used for receiving back the other way. So once again, if you're displaying in a, um, in a breakout room, for example, you can take the audio mix from Dante and the video mix from a vision switcher and join them back together as a decode environment as well. These boxes have just got a whole lot more flexible with, with Dante enablement. From our hardware perspective, the last product that we're talking about here from an integration point of view uh, AV products and actually these ones are the, probably the biggest beneficiaries of this technology in a lot of ways. Having a display that can not only send and receive video and audio in an NDI environment to interact, yeah, having uh, breakout displays, having breakout rooms, being able to route video around your network uh, directly from the displays, but then also being able to take audio from a microphone at a lectern for example, it becomes really flexible. Uh, then our wall plates as well, these are designed, as I mentioned earlier, to be uh, fixed installs. You could have a wall plate, for example, fixed into a lectern when a presenter plugs in their microphone, uh, sorry, plugs in their laptop with HDMI. The audio that's embedded in that HDMI can be received out into your Dante environment. So you can take the audio when they're playing your video stream, whatever you choose, uh, and you can then mix that with the live production for audio. But then you can also take that whole production or all the audio and video and use that on your NDI network. Once again, we're trying to enable as many different flexibilities as possible. Now, the last product uh, within the announcements that we have that gets affected by this Dante enablement is Bird Dog Cloud. 
And again, this is a really big uh, announcement in what it allows you to do. So Bird Dog Cloud is a platform that allows you to take any of your NDI sources or any of your audio and video resources in one building and teleport them across over SRT in a secure, reliable manner to another location and interact with any of those sources. It basically brings any camera or any, uh, any video source to any location in the world and you can interact as if it was a local camera. The cool thing with uh, Dante though is we can now choose the audio sources that we receive. So it's not limited to NDI now. We can choose Dante or microphones or a mix that's come from a Dante mixer. We can then send that over our connection over the internet and receive it at the other end. And then at the other end, we can either choose to put it back into an NDI stream or break that back out to, to Dante for house audio. So you can use this as a bridge across the internet to take audio and video. And then at each end, you can route and choose how that happens uh, to be received and sent at the other side. So uh, if, for example, you're doing a, a series of, uh, of um, presentations where you might want to have interaction between two different sites, you could actually use this as the gateway where people can communicate between the audio can then be run on the, the Dante network, as an example. So that's a really quick sort of walkthrough on the product. So we have our software products, the brand new Dante Bridge, which allows you to interact with any NDI source uh, and output that as Dante Audio and the other way around. So that's kind of a really useful uh, Swiss Army knife to take any source and, and move it around and, and be able to poke it into different formats. We then have our comm software that allows crews and, and real-time communication between different platforms. We've got our converters and cameras, which is the hardware implementations. And then we've got our cloud platform. So all of these are enabled now with Dante. So what I'd like to do now is just spend a couple of minutes uh, before we get into more Q and A's and we'll see where things are at with that in just a moment. Uh, just a couple more minutes on some example workflows that, uh, that may be enabled with this. So this is a great example where you have one of our cameras. This one here is our, our P400. This is our brand new camera, which is a 4K camera with exceptional image quality. It works really well in dark environments and challenging uh, image environments. So you may have a, uh, a presentation area or maybe it's a theatre. And so you can mount your uh, PTZ rem remote camera somewhere uh, that's pointing at the stage. And then you have some drop microphones, which are Dante enabled, where previously they would be dealt with entirely separately and you need to work out a way of bringing those together and how you can even come close to syncing those up. What we're able to do within the camera itself is the camera can receive that Dante feed from the microphone and then join them up together as an NDI source. So in this environment, what we're doing is taking a Dante source and making that available directly as an NDI source. So as a, uh, a video producer, you don't even need to worry about this because your NDI feed that you've chosen, when you connect to the, the Verdog camera, that's going to be automatically tied to have this Dante feed directly in there. So straight away, that's going to give you a, a really convenient way to work in a staged environment where you've got you know, theatres, for example, where you might want to have some interaction with crowds. This is another great example, which is uh, almost the opposite, where we're taking the embedded audio and then splitting that out into two different environments. Let's say we've got a, a camera, sort of more of a, a maybe a, a lighter budget uh, production where there's on-camera microphones that are pointing at the subject. You can put one of our bird dog encoders on your camera, which will allow you to, to do a live production. You can see that video in a, in a switcher and you can cut together a live production. But at the same time, you can now use a Dante enabled audio mixer and receive the audio as Dante natively from that same bird dog device. And this really works well if you've got a mixed environment where you're doing a live stream to the internet, which would potentially use something like a vision switcher, maybe a TriCaster or a vMix. So you want to work in NDI in that environment because it's very convenient. But in house, uh, within the, uh, the place where this pr uh, presentation or event's happening, you've got Dante as a, uh, as a house format. And so with this, the one device can serve both productions or to conserve both uh, demands. So again, this is a really convenient way of using a single device and saving the amount of, uh, of hardware and cabling and, and complexity you put into a production. This next uh, idea for a workflow is, uh, is actually more about decoding. And for me, this is also as every bit as exciting. As uh, social distancing is an issue and as we go through various different production uh, sources, to be able to take breakout spaces can become really important. 
So you may have you know, an all hands meeting as a company where you've got a bunch of people in one space or you know, maybe not quite so many these days. Within the Bird Dog products, what we're able to do is decode any NDIs. So we can create a video link from, from one location, which is the Bird Dog encoder, receive that in one or many different other locations on your network. But what we can do now is take the NDI video and put that onto a screen, but within that same decoder box, we can then receive the audio that's being mixed. So that works really well. If someone's working on a, um, you know, a TEDx style talk where they've got a laptop plugged in, they're doing a presentation and they've got a microphone, you want to mix that together in something like a, you know, a, a traditional audio mixer where that would be Dante enabled. And then at the other end where you're receiving the, um, the, uh, the view of this presentation, you can then join that audio back up again within that device. So we're, we're taking a very low latency link of video from one location to another, but then we're taking the audio that's being mixed and then marrying them back up. And again, being able to have Dante as that receiving means you can mix it. So different rooms may have different versions of it, maybe different languages for voiceovers and etc. So it can open up a whole bunch of different workflows. So Dante enablement on decode is actually a really powerful tool as well. I did mention this one before, which uh, I got a bit of ahead of myself, but for presentations, this, this actually makes things a whole lot easier. Whenever we do presentations, and I had some audio difficulties here with our system just before we started. Um, but if you've got a video you want to play as part of a presentation, it's always a bit of a pain to get that audio uh, with the video mixed together and be part of your presentation. So the way this works is if you have a, a lectern, which has got one of our bird dog wall plates or even one of our encoders, if you plug a laptop in with HDMI, it's going to take the audio and make that available as well as the video for your vision switching. And that's sort of a traditional production. But what we can do now is automatically take the audio into your audio mixer as well with Dante. And that creates a much higher quality presentation from a user experience point of view or from a, uh, a listener audience point of view. Because that audio is then available and mixed in much better into a production that doesn't come in too hot or too quiet. You know, as a uh, someone that's uh, running the show or producing the um, the production, they'll be able to control that much better, and it becomes less unpredictable, and it means high quality presentations. But ultimately, it means less stress for a producer, for a um, a presenter, because they plug in their laptop and everything just works. The audio goes one way, the video goes the other. The presenter doesn't need to care because the production works in a more smooth way. And then the last one, which is uh, for uh, larger spaces, is for example, maybe could be shopping malls, could be airports, could be many different places. You can have your audio and video routed in different places. So if you've got a large screen, you can have one device that's uh, a drop point within an environment that will then produce the video which is being sent over NDI and send that out to HDMI screens. And that could be one of our SDM modules or one of our HDMI wall plates. But then the audio can then be pushed back out again to your Dante speaker system. So if you have a large speaker array that's Dante enabled, this can then become that endpoint. And it allows for huge amounts of flexibility along the way. Part of what BirdDog does is we have a lot of control protocols. We actually recently announced uh, Crestron control libraries, for example, and our API. So part of our APIs allow a lot of automation to happen. And you'll find in a lot of AV environments, automation is very important. And so part of uh, this announcement is that all of our products will get extended API integration as well. Where at the moment with a bird dog, you can control every interface as it is now. Now with the Dante enablement as well, we can then choose what we're doing with the audio as well. We can choose whether they have audio coming in and out in Dante format or NDI or both. So this sort of brings us to the end of our um, general presentation about the products. What I tried to do here is, is cover a little bit of the technology about the company, about our products, and then ultimately the workflows that get unlocked with Dante. We're really excited about it and what this means to productions, to AV installations, to corporate and education environments. And we think it really will enable higher quality productions and more convenient and lower cost productions as well. So at this point, what I'd like to do is, is open it up to some q and I'm not sure how things have been going uh, on the chat here, but Eamon's moderating that. If there's, if there's any more questions, now's your time. You'll also notice that there's a URL, URL and email address down there. We're accessible on social media, we're accessible via many different means. So 
if any questions pop up after this presentation, feel free to get in contact with us. We will have some follow-ups which are more deep dives into the technology. This webinar is really designed just to explain a little more than just those three images about the products. Uh, we wanted to explain a little bit more about the workflows and the, and the options that are available within those products. So feel free to ask questions away. We'll keep this open for as long as we need to. And uh, then from there, uh, hopefully you've got enough information to then ask more questions afterwards. So, so far, thanks very much for, for listening and hopefully I can answer some questions now. Yeah, so we have one from Marty Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how the timing is dealt with NDI to NTP some days in future? Yeah, so the question there was around uh, how timing is dealt with. So at the moment, the implementation that we have uh, within our products is to take the source and that source is inherently timed within our devices. So if we have HDMI coming in or if we have uh, SDI coming in, we can break that out at the source and encode that into SDI, sorry, encode that into NDI and also into Dante at the same time. What we don't do at the source is, uh, is allow for any adjustment in timing because ultimately that's up to the network at the other end. So right now, if you wanted to, to work on timing and, and have that, uh, you would need to use your external tools. So whether that's your audio devices or whether it's your vision switcher to, to bring that timing back in, because uh, depending on where you're consuming the, the, the audio that we produce, um, there'll be different requirements across the network. But, uh, but ultimately the, the, the source when we produce the, both NDI and Dante is produced at the same time. Um... A few questions about uh, how the P200 can handle the Dante in or then convert to Dante without have implemented to the NDR stream how you talk about. Yeah, cool. So so the question there was about how the cameras can work with Dante inputs and outputs. And this is a great question because there's actually a few different things that can happen. With all of our camera products, we've got audio in and audio out from an analog perspective. And so today what you might want to do is plug a microphone into the input of the uh, of the camera. And that will then, you know, within this environment, if you have Dante enabled in your camera, will allow you to take the audio from that microphone and output that out via Dante. The other thing you might want to do, for example, is take a Dante microphone, bring that into your camera, and then convert that into an NDI stream. And that can be done as well. So we can use an external Dante microphone and hook that into our, um, our NDI stream. We can also do the other way around. Because we have outputs on our cameras, we can send back an IFB, for example. So you can take the output from your camera and put that into the in ear piece of a, of a talent. So that can be their IFB point. And that can be a Dante source or it could be an NDI source. So there's there's a bunch of different choices that you have here as far as how the audio can come in. But ultimately that's that's not limited. So you can choose any NDI source or any analog source or any Dante source for your audio ins and audio outs on your cameras. Yeah, um, from Addison, our friend in Miami. Oh, yes, yeah. uh, I think Miami, Follow, follow anyway. But he's asked, um, can we speak to the channel count limits and direction limits on 4K converters? How sure. many channels can I convert? Yeah. So that question was uh, around the channel count, and that's something I did mean to cover, so that's a great question. Uh, within our hardware products, so our converters, the, the initial release is a 4x4, four four. so that's four channels in and four channels out of Dante. And that's designed to, to cover over most requirements that we have within that, uh, within that space. So software-wise, we do have the ability to go further. I mentioned earlier the, um, uh, the, the Bird Dog NDI Bridge or Dante NDI Bridge. That has six channels in and six channels out at the moment, and that can grow. And then our audio comm system can go up to several more channels as well. We actually have stereo pairs per group, and we can have up to six groups. So there's various different channel structures uh, as far as what products will do. We will be releasing uh, a couple of sheets. One will be about network performance and network design guidelines. Uh, and I'll probably preempt a question here uh, that may be in the list around networking. Uh, but we'll have some guidelines around the channel counts and, and what can happen. But uh, to answer that question specifically, the hardware is four channels in, four channels out in this release. Uh, to get back to the, uh, the networking uh, question, which I'm trying to preempt, is uh, many people like to separate their Dante network from, from other devices or from other networking. But what we've found and deliberately what we've done is because there's relatively small channel counts at each of our endpoints being four channels in and out, uh, we've done extensive testing already on, on having NDI and Dante coexist and we, we don't see any issues there. 
What we will be providing though is a scale guide. So as you scale out and have larger channel counts, we'll be providing guides on how you can make sure your infrastructure is protected and that you're not having any collisions between these AV formats. But ultimately having a separate VLAN, certainly for, for smaller channel counts is not an issue. And as you get to larger environments where you have multiple uh, sites, for example, then of course there'll be some guidelines around that. So we'll be producing that as we get closer to the release of the, uh, the firmware for the hardware products. Yeah, um, there's another, so the, the other question was around like quite and how many channels you can do per kind of NDI stream and things like that and splitting them out. So yeah. For the 4 k quad hardware. Yeah, so the 4K quad uh, hardware, so um, at the moment, the uh, and this is actually probably a bit of an outlier, the 4K quad, in the fact that it has four channels in and uh, four channels out of, of, sorry, four channels in or four channels out of uh, SDI, uh, at the moment we have a total of four channels in and four channels out on the Dante side of things. So that could be, for example, if you have two encodes and two decodes, you can do stereo in each one. We are looking at doing more than that with it and the hardware itself is not limited. Uh, it just isn't a part of this announcement. So as we get closer, we'll look at uh, clarifying a little bit more on the, the amount of channels that that quad box can do. Uh, but again, this announcement is really around the the Dante integration and, and right now that is four channels. Yep. Um, from anonymous, I don't know where it is, sorry. Yep, will Dante NDI audio delay be added in future with Inferred or Pathway? Okay, so that's uh, back to syncing and, and audio questions. So the ability to do delays on your audio is something that we are looking to do implement. It's not part of the initial release as we mentioned earlier. So that, that uh, release is around getting that Dante produced as quickly as possible because that's applicable for working in a local environment. So if you have a, a stage environment or a presentation, the delay, any delay is actually gonna be too much delay. Uh, but certainly for, for being able to sync up at the other end, if you have iMag, for example, and being wanting to, to delay the audio for certain environments, that's something that will be added in uh, and there'll be some announcements on that. Okay, from Marty Hankins, can you use the Automate Dante controller to assign to and from the virtual devices? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, the question was about how do you assign the audio channels in and out of the, the bird dog products? And the answer is exactly that. You use the Dante controller. The, the big thing with uh, the implementation that we have across all of our products, whether it's the hardware or the software, is we have a brand new implementation that we've worked on with, with uh, Dante. It's a, using the latest uh, technology, which it makes every one of our devices appear as a native Dante device. It's not the same as if you had a, a virtual sound card or something like this. It's uh, each device comes up as its own Dante device in its own right on the network. And it behaves exactly the same as if you had a microphone or a speaker. So you, you, know, you can you can run directly within Dante controller. It just works exactly as you used. So as an audio operator, they don't need to know that it's a bird dog device. It works the same as any other Dante device. Uh, from Addison again in uh, Florida, is there support for Dante Domain Manager? Not the same thing. Yes, yes, there is support for Dante Domain Manager directly in these. Okay, uh, I'm I'm liking all these oh, questions, this is great. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that one. Okay. Uh, well, someone's asked about NDIHX. Yeah. So the question here is around NDIHX. So this, this presentation is all around our, our Dante announcements. But Bird Dog is a company, we set out to make our products to be direct replacements for live production products and for high demand products. So we've always uh, standardized on the full bandwidth, high, high quality NDI. So all of our products you'll find support full NDI. And that means that we're the lowest latency and the highest image quality. And we can adjust the, uh, the bandwidth that you use, but it can go up to relatively high bandwidth, but it's all designed to work on a gigabit network. Uh, if you wanted to go from one location to another, we use our Bird Dog Cloud platform to allow you to do that with, with a whole lot of control around your image quality to do it. But uh, NDI HX is not something that Bird Dog does, uh, and that's deliberate. We've chosen to go for the higher quality codec um, that gives us lower latency and uh, all of our products, be that cameras, converters, um, or even all of our software works on that. The one exception is that if you have a HX source uh, that you wanted to convert with Dante NDI Bridge, we will certainly happily work with that. So the Dante Bridge will take any NDI source and convert that out to Dante and back um, back again. Uh, we got asked, it's not really about Dante, but uh, is there a fiber interface for the 4K PTZs? Okay, so the question uh, was, is there a fiber interface for the 4K PTZs? Uh, and so 
fiber interfacing is more of a network question rather than Dante. And uh, on our on our four K products, so we have our converter products. We actually have a, uh, a fiber port here, which allows you to plug in a SFP, and you can run you know, multiple channels of four K down that. With our 4K cameras, we haven't got that just simply because there's a single channel coming out of the camera. So running off a, a gigabit ethernet, you can run a, a regular um, RJ45, a regular copper network. So at the moment, there isn't a um, there isn't a, a, a SFP or an optical option for those cameras. Uh, certainly, if you wanted to run longer runs, there's no problem in running your ethernet over optical, uh, you know, for a larger installation. Marty Yankin is asking all the, all the tough ones. Thanks, Marty. Uh, my question around timing is about the IP network timing. I've had use a lot of network timing protocol PTP, and then the I use the survival timing clock NTP, which clock the system is using. I'm guessing we need to get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for the tough questions. I like it. So, as far as the, the questions that we have uh, around timing, the, um, the Dante implementation is a full Dante implementation within our product. So, that supports all of the Dante. Um, uh, protocols and the NDI implementation is a full NDI implementation. As far as how they interact if you're wanting to set priorities, that's probably something that we do need to get back to you on as far as workflows. Uh, as the products are coming out to release, we're looking at the, the software products uh, being released in the next month, so in, in June, and then we're looking at July for the hardware side of things. Um, what we'll be doing is a follow-up, more technical deep dive into how these products work, the configuration, and you know, how you work with things like these timing protocols and, uh, and mix things together. And that will be a subsequent webinar, which is gonna go more into product training. So I think for those kind of questions, we'll be able to give you a lot more details as we get closer to release. Um, um, Alison's asked about AES67 or Dante. Okay, so the question is about AES67, thanks for that. Um, so AES67 is a totally different format. So, um, so this announcement is about Dante and uh, from our perspective, Dante in a lot of ways is kind of um, seen in the same light as NDI. So Dante is a format that's available for everyone to use. It's licensed and it's developed by, by Ordinate. And we've got a, a great relationship with Ordinate. Our, our perspective is that there's a huge amount of devices out there that work with Dante and, and being able to support this as a digital audio, low latency format within our products is fantastic. Um, AES67 is a completely different format, so certainly not part of this announcement. Um, and you know, for us, we're really excited on the Dante side of things about what that enables certainly is this, this first step. That's it for okay. us. That's it. Yeah, right there. Any more no problem. So that's the end of, I think we've got through most of the questions. So from here, I think we'll, we'll keep the, the lines open for a little bit longer. So feel free to, to ask any more questions. But once again, if there is anything that pops up afterwards, uh, we're available. We have uh, staff in the US. So we have uh, a couple of staff over there that are more than happy to, to answer your questions and get involved. Uh, we also have our, our help system. We have our email addresses, Facebook, our social media. So we're happy to answer questions any time of the day and work with you on any ideas you have from workplace. So don't feel like this is your last place to ask questions, but certainly feel free to keep asking them now. It's early here, so I'm going to have a drink of my coffee while we're waiting if anyone wants to answer, ask any more questions. Scott, thanks for joining this. Really cool, you guys. No worries, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Um, someone's asked about our Proto OS to run on desktop PC, but I think that's probably uh, goes under. We don't talk about the device. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's basically it for now, yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, we really would thank you. We'd like to thank everyone for jumping in. This, as I mentioned, is our very first webinar. Whoop, I'm being uh, stopped from my wrapper. All right, so. I'll start again. So this is our, our very first webinar. So as you're seeing, we're, we're just getting used to this. So hopefully it's been useful. We'll be doing a whole lot more of these. And obviously from a production point of view, we'll, we'll work on getting them to be a bit more slick, but uh, hopefully this has been really useful for you. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you again on any new ones that come out. If there is any questions about the products, feel free to jump in and ask us uh, via any of our social means or any of our communications. And as I mentioned, we'll be doing a, a much more technical deep dive, which we'll advertise on all of our social medias uh, as we get closer to release. So some of those questions that are more technical around implementations, we'll be answering all of those and producing some white papers around that as well. So just to wrap up, we're really excited about the Dante partnership and uh, what we've done with Ordinate and the products that we have already coming out. So there's 
the software which allows you to convert between different formats. We have our comms and then obviously the hardware implementations which enable much more simplified workflows or installations. So once again, thanks again for joining us um, and look forward to hearing from you and seeing how you use that product soon.